Tenkaichi remains as the single most underrated manga, 22 chapters of Straight Fire. Musashi defeated the Mighty Honda, which gave us a solid introduction. Following that, the real plot was introduced, with a next level clash having Fuma claim victory, but at a high cost. A stomp occurred next with a monster's introduction, and now the fourth fight is over as well. And let me tell you, Peak has been provided once again. Hino, the resident sumo boy, versus Kamazumi, the super old sword saint, will be the topic of today's video. But first, round 5 is going to be Sasaki Kodro versus Hanzo. Of course, I'm very excited for this. My current prediction is of course on Sasaki claiming victory. He has his mysterious aspect with Masashi already, and one of the two fighters with a mask, so perhaps I have some bias potentially. Comment down below your prediction, subscribe for more fighting manga content, and of course spread the goodness of this amazing manga. Let's get into it. My initial prediction for this fight was the old man winning, so you could say godly technique overcoming godly strength, but let's discuss the important details of this fight. They both are titty enjoyers, very nice stuff, but on a less important note, the arena this time was a cage, one of the more appealing aspects of Tenkaichi. Having a different arena for each fight does create a unique factor, however this really didn't matter too much due to Hino's insane raw strength. A little bit unfortunate and as a whole there wasn't too much focus on the cage itself. The sword say in his introduction is already described as the great grandmaster of Yagyu, who has final boss vibes with his introduction alone, with Yagyu clearly showing respect for him, calling him a monstrous old man, which is funny and impactful considering his own showcase of power, potentially hitting at his true form which is important for later on in the fight as well, meaning Yagyu has been anticipating seeing the old man's full power, hasn't seen it yet, he gets to see it, and maybe in the next chapter, chapter 23 which isn't out yet, we'll get some insight from him and his perspective of it. Giving him all this pre-fight build-up wasn't really needed, but looking at the size difference you could maybe say it was required. But once it started going we get to see the clear difference in overall ability, which actually left most of the fighters stunned with his martial arts alone, not even using his sword at this point. Following that we got a huge statement from Yagyu about the old man as well, how he is the only person that could defeat that monster from his perspective. Which in the context of the whole fight, you could say the sword scent, while being serious and bloodlusted in his final form, is the current peak of the verse. And he kind of says something along the lines of that himself as well in this panel here. You could maybe argue at a younger age this could be the case considering the climax which I'll discuss later on. The most criticised reveal of this fight was Hino's face, which I personally didn't care about too much, but I would have much preferred him fighting with the mask on until potentially the end of the fight, or something along the lines of that. Just unexpected and somewhat immersion breaking with his face just looking goofy at times. It did give him more character and personality in combination with his flashback, which I don't have too much to comment about. It was alright, it wasn't the best, just I guess a mid-tier flashback so far in the series. Side note, this fight also provided this panel, or his flashback provided this panel. Very nice stuff. Thumbs up. I think the most appealing aspect of this fight was the ability known as Gate of Celestial Awakening. With the original Awakening in the old man's flashback being very unique art style wise, just crazy to look at. And simply the Sword Saint being an absolute overpowered beast, leaving everyone stunned at multiple points. Just look at him in this panel, once again not using his sword, is absolutely bodying. So once again, another old man in this tournament who is very OP, you love to see it. Hino however does deserve some respect himself. While being on the losing end for most of the fight and even at the end, had cool moments, for example using the air pressure of his kick to force the old man to use his sword and just being a savage overall, which I love to see. On top of that, he is the definition of built different, pretty badass, but kinda used for most sumo dudes in manga like this, so nothing too crazy. The climax of the fight however, the final chapter to be precise, was some of the best Tenkaichi we've received so far, just absolute peak. The gate of the Supreme Descendant coming out, being broken, 
and the sword saint becoming so close to godhood but not quite reaching there due to his old age was a perfect ending and Hino winning I don't mind too much even though he kind of got beat up the whole fight it was great to see and I pretty much just enjoyed the whole thing. I would have preferred it being a little bit longer I'm not going to lie and of course I would have preferred the sword saint winning than having him fight Yagyu in the next round. But it is what it is, he got his crazy ending and was built up as pretty much a god. In conclusion, I would rate this as the second best fight so far, with this being my current order. Let's say I'll give it a 8 out of 10. Hino vs Yagyu is going to be fire without a doubt in the second round. This will definitely require Yagyu to break his limits and surpass the Sword Saint. I think it's going to be very interesting to see how Yagyu break through Sumo Boy's crazy body and how he's actually going to win in that regard, as even the Sword Saint in the final clash was cutting him up quite a bit but didn't actually kill him, so will Yagyu be able to do that? Imagine the insanity if Hino actually won against Yagyu as well, that would just be some unpredictable crazy stuff, but I'm excited to see his next fight, and yeah, let me know your thoughts of the fight as a whole down below. A few more bonus things to mention is this guy was pretty much going crazy throughout the fight watching the Sword Saint, he has kind of been built up in the background as another monster in his own regard. I've seen a few people who actually think he's going to win the whole tournament. He pointed to Yagyu pretty much challenging him or I guess predicting he's going to win. And then I guess had the absolute prediction that the Sword Saint was going to win which didn't happen. So we may see him kind of break down in some regard next chapter. With him being so excited to fight it's going to be interesting to see how he deals with the next following rounds. As he is in the final fight of round 1. So we could even see him kill another character, whether that be another fighter or just someone who's with one of the other fighters. In between like the breaks of the fights, like one night or something like that, I wouldn't be surprised because my man is kind of losing it a little bit based on his various reactions and little comments we got throughout the fight. So watch out about this guy. Sasaki is still being very mysterious, very menacing, I'm excited for him. I hope his mask doesn't actually come off in his fight against Hanzo when he wins. Of course I want it to be a good fight but I just hope his mask stays on until maybe later on in the series. And yeah, I am enjoying Tenkaichi. And most importantly, don't forget that this beast here is going to win the whole tournament. Just look at his reactions compared to the various other characters throughout this fight itself. Speaks volumes, I talked about this in my video a few months ago talking about the last fight. I'm still on his train and he's going to win, you heard it here first. Just as a reminder, I'm not going to be making chapter review or dedicated chapter videos on Tenkaichi, I'm just going to wait for a whole fight to come out and then I'm going to make my dedicated video like this and what I did previously, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're a fan of Tenkaichi, if you need chapter links or just want to talk more about it consider joining the discord, trying to build up Tenkaichi as much as possible so spread the word as I mentioned before. Subscribe, check out all the other stuff in the description if you want, and of course, shout out to the mad lads who support the channel via the Patreon. But this has been Mysterious Weeb, that's it guys, peace.